Example could be one of the most powerful words in the English language. I know it's one of the most powerful words in my own life because people's examples have really what paved the way for my own life. I introduced a chapter using Dale Murphy as an example when I was eight years old reading that article in the sports magazine and he was committed not to cuss or drink or smoke or use drugs. And as a little kid, as I looked up to him, I said, you know what, I don't, I don't want to do those things either. If Murph doesn't do them, I'm not going to do them. That's the power of example. When I watched my dad and as he coached, I wanted to be like him and so I did the things that he did. I've had other great examples in my own life. I know for myself, probably impact and influence, 90% of it has been the example that's been lived out before me and 10% of it is probably the teaching, correction, and instruction that has been given to me verbally. Boy, what a difference. 90% example, 10% teaching. I think probably most people are like me. You want to watch something played out and you want to see it and touch it and feel it. And then when it does, it rubs off on you. You feel it. You touch it. You want to be like that because it's winsome. It's effective. It's influential. And so the question really is this. As a Christ-pursuing leader, coach, what kind of example are you setting? What kind of example are you being for those around you, fellow coaches, leaders, and your team? I encourage you today, take an evaluation, a little inventory, so to speak, of your own life, the example that you're setting, and maybe make some changes if you need to, so that the kind of example that you're setting is one worthy to be followed.